Hello everyone, welcome to another presentation of Word of Encouragement brought to you by the Chappies at the Bullier Outback Chapel. We hope you have had a great week, and thank you for spending this time with us. Something totally unexpected occurred at a wedding reception attended by Jesus. There was a problem and he solved it. We are invited to take our problems to Jesus also, and like Mary, his mother said, whatever Jesus tells you to do, do it. What is coming up in your life? Tell the Lord about it, and wait for him to provide for you in his time. Perhaps there is an emptiness inside spiritually. Jesus can fill your need beyond imagining. Hi everyone, I'm Chappie Chris. And I'm Chappie Peter. Come with us today as we revisit Mudgee, a beautiful city in New South Wales and a special place to us, Chappie Chris. With a population of 12,500 people on the fertile banks of the Kajigon River, it is situated about 260 kilometres northwest of Sydney. That's right, and Mudgee is famous for its tourism and its wineries and is a popular weekend retreat for Sydney siders. There is a variety of quaint accommodation available too. Yes, and the autumn leaves have just finished appearing with their rich colours of red, orange and yellow. Love those autumn colours. For many years, the Mudgee region has been attracting visitors with what it has to offer, including much sought after boutique wines. Yes, there are more than 35 family owned wineries offering tours and wine tasting, if you like that sort of thing, Christine. Beautiful hills, gardens, trees, fresh air and rolling pastures give one a definite feeling that one has reached the promised land. No, ah, that's a good feeling, isn't it? There are also many old buildings, good coffee shops and many cosy restaurants. Those wineries remind us of the first miracle of Jesus attending a wedding. Yes, he was a guest and during the celebration the host ran out of wine. Imagine that, Christine. Imagine that embarrassing, mm. Chappie. Mary, the mother of Jesus, says to the servants, Tell Jesus and do whatever he says. And Jesus directs them to fill six big pots with water, then to pour some out, taste and take it to the head waiter, who tells the bridegroom, hey, this wine is good, even better than the stuff we used up. Why did you keep the best wine till the last? It's interesting that Jesus turned water into wine as his first public miracle. He didn't say when they'd run out, too bad, you shouldn't have been drinking wine anyway. Stick to lemonade. Look here, I'll make you some. That's funny, chappy. <laughs> so Jesus apparently didn't mind folks having a good time. Jesus was not a pious party pooper, but genuinely supportive in an amazing way. Many folks may consider Jesus and religion is all about boring sobriety and not being able to have a good time. That's right, and he's happy for us to party and enjoy the fruits of our labour but in moderation, of course, and within the model of loving our neighbour, where an excess could bring domestic violence, health issues, maybe being a public nuisance or even car accidents. Mary's words, whatever he says, do it, still ring true today. Yes, he can take our emptiness and fill it, supplying even better than what we think or imagine. The servants had to come to Jesus and ask for him to meet the need. Yes, and it's interesting, he knows our need, but we are encouraged, Christine, to come to Jesus also and ask. Sometimes we see our Lord's provision and equipping well before we have need of it. And we can look back and see his plan for us unfolding and his provision and equipping for our needs we didn't even ask for as we didn't realise we would need them. Our Lord said, I will answer them before they even call to me. While they are still talking about their needs, I will go ahead and answer their prayers. Yes, that's great, isn't it? And I like this quote, Chappie, as we also read, we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. That's wonderful. It must have seemed a strange command, fill six jars with water. Yes, it must have, eh? But there was something the servants had to do, and Jesus could have filled those pots with wine straight off, but obedience was required, and it is required for us too. Carrying out our Lord's commands requires action from us. What is he asking you and me to do right now? 
The wait for the pots to be filled was worth it. Wow, that wine must have been awesome. Waiting is often required for us today. Yes, a verse in Psalm 24 encourages us to be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. The wait may be longer than we would like sometimes, but we know our Lord is always on time. Like the wedding, the wait to hear from Jesus and receive his solution was worth it. A great story and challenge to us, Chappie. Let's take this quote with us into the weeks ahead. God takes our empty places and fills them. He supplies our needs from his glorious riches and we end up getting much more than we asked for originally. And now a prayer. Lord, thank you that I'm learning about your provision for my needs, just like you met the needs of the wedding party. Help me to be obedient, to do my part and expect great things as I wait for your answers to my prayers. Amen. Well, that's about all for now. Blessings to you all. Yes, goodbye. Stay tuned for On A Lighter Note. We'll see you next time.